Secondary Revisions is a series of five-minute talks about process, about the strategies and practices inside an artwork, inside the making of a drawing, inside the film, inside a dance. As one wakes from a dream, one tries to hang on to the elements and images of the dream before those fragments disappear into the depths of unremembering. From these scraps and images that are left, we construct the dream we remember. It doesn't matter if the images are not in the same order that they actually flew across our brain in, or that if some images are lost. This constructed coherence is the raw material with which we work. This construction, the secondary revision, is both there in talking about dreams, but also there in the studio. In the studio, the artist studio, the dance studio, the recording studio, there is a similar process of assemblage of intuitions, of habits, of images remembered from other artists and used, of taking these fragments of working with them, giving the fragment the benefit of the doubt. In this series of talks, we invite artists, writers, musicians, all of you, to give a five-minute insight into the secondary revisions that happen. What are the different processes and strategies used? I want to talk about collage, in some ways the most obvious demonstration of this collating of fragments. In the 20th century, collage as a technique, as a way of thinking about the world, came into its own. One thinks of Picasso and Braque and the constructions of a guitar out of cardboard and pieces of newspaper, of images fragmented and then reconstructed. But of course the strategy of collage is far older. All artists have used it in one way or another. The German artist Caspar David Friedrich had sketchbooks full of details of tree trunks, of branches, of rocks in the landscapes, and his paintings are constructions from these different elements. A tree from one sketchbook, a rock from another sketchbook of a different journey. These are all the raw material. They are there to be enlarged, edited, repositioned, until the final image is arrived at. A wholly constructed, not a found image. From the same element, different landscapes can be made. This painting, The White Horse by John Constable, looks like a found landscape the countryside around the river Stour of his childhood. But here too the image is a collaged construction. The elements, the horse, the houses, the trees, are all open to rearranging the river itself, as Constable does in the different preliminary sketches for the painting. The natural landscape is entirely artificial. The exquisite corpses of the surrealists, in which one person will draw a head, another person will draw a body and a third person draw the legs, takes this process of collage a step further, of looking for the unexpected in the combination of elements, the surprising images that can arise from these fragments coming together. All of these techniques are there in the studio. They're there waiting to be used in the exercise of finding that which we don't expect. Here is an example. It's not quite an exquisite corpse, but using the principle, a cardboard costume, a performer, different cardboard heads. Now, I had expected the clear recognition of the face, but the surprise, the unexpected, was the power of the fixed stare that emerges when this still photograph is set in motion with the performer. These fragments, incoherent in themselves, can combine to construct this cat. Incoherent fragments come together and then we can't resist the seeing. Here of a cat. Here of a horse. The process becomes a way of finding a gesture, a position, a posing, but also of finding a performance, of seeing things about the image we didn't realize we knew. There has to be an openness to the unknown, to finding that which we know, what we recognize, but which we don't know that we know.
We're not being generous in seeing this transformation of fragments into a horse or a cat. However hard we try to only see these fragments, coherence will lay its claim. There is an agency in all of us, a demand from deep inside that we do the work of understanding the world, of seeing where the fragments will lead us.